are going to share a few tips with you all that you need to remember before the CAT exam. Firstly, coming to the day before the exam, it is important to keep that day light. Do not go for any hard amount of preparation and do not take any mock test. If you want, just go through your notes which you have prepared and revise them. Most importantly, take a good night's sleep so that you are energetic as well as ready for the D-Day which probably is the most important day of your life. Hi guys, my name is Animesh Sharma and I will be taking you through how to attempt the CAT 2022 EARC section. Now first of all, coming to reading comprehension. Now the most important part is identifying the tone of the passage, whether the author is against, for or neutral about a given topic. Trust me, this will help you a lot in answering opinion based questions. And the second most important thing is identify from which paragraph a particular question is asked from the passage. Now this will help you narrow down your choices to either two or three options and this will save you all, all this will also save you a lot of time now coming to type in the answer type questions now first you will see uh, para jumble type questions in which there are four options given to you and they are all jumbled and you have to make a complete paragraph out of it now for this try to identify the opening and the ending sentences which is often an easier task than identifying what comes in the middle and uh, moving on we have uh, para summary type questions now the important thing to keep in mind for para summary questions is that you should get the complete gist of the passage and identify the option which completes the con which contains the complete information whatever is mentioned in the uh, pa given passage and it also gets the tone of the particular passage like if you have an uh, opinion passage that is against a particular topic then the summary should also be in the same in the same emotion now coming to selecting the odd one out from five given sentences in this, you will, you will more often than not see a vagueish type sentence that may or may not be included in the passage. Now, you will be able to form a complete passage out of the other four. So, try to identify the, uh, identify the option which you can do without, which seems a little vague, which does not directly address a topic or things like that. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Akash Pivarir. So, the first thing that you need to keep in mind while solving DALR is that it's not about solving 100% of the questions. It's more about selecting the right sets that you would be able to crack. So what I did was, out of the 40 minutes that is available to you, I spent initial 3-4 minutes going through the sets and setting the order in which I will be attempting. Um, it's, it totally depends on your strength. And start with the easiest and even if you are not able to crack, the, uh, crack that set, it's okay and move on to the next set. Just keep in mind that don't panic. So I'll be sharing some tips regarding fonts. So number one, don't go with a set number of questions in your mind. It may be possible that the paper is tough and you may have a feeling that you will be able to solve 18 or 19 questions and you won't be able to solve. So don't get disheartened and try to solve as many as you can. Number two, don't run after questions from your favorite topics. It may be possible that questions from other topics are easy. So solve easier questions first. Number three, don't feel that you, you have invested one or two minutes and you may invest another minute and you may be able to solve a question. If you are not able to crack a question within two minutes, just leave the question and move ahead. And number four, uh, don't let your DILR uh, performance affect your quants performance. It may You may feel that you have not performed well in DILR, but remember it is a percentile based exam and not percentage. So your performance is affected by performance of others. So just do well in quants and don't, uh, don't let your DILR affect your quants. All the best. Hi, I'm Vignesh Jain and I'll be providing you with a few tips that might help you during the CAT day. Firstly, you should locate your center one day before the exam. If not, reach your center well before the stipulated time. This will help you avoid any kind of anxiety or instability on the D-Day. On reaching the exam center, you will be given an exam system well before the time. During this time, go to the strategy you're going to implement. While staring on the screen, you might feel a little anxious and have a few nerves. It is perfectly natural. Just take a, deep, take a few deep breaths and be stable. Lastly, remember that CAT is not about solving 100% of the paper. Take each section individually and don't let any section affect your performance in any other section. Go with the strategy you have in mind and it should give you the results you desire. Thank you and all the best.